Most of you probably know me as Margaret Manford from The Apprentice, but I'm here as Dr. Margaret Manford, classicist, to demonstrate an amazing app I'm going to be using here, which has been developed by the Roman Society and which tells us all about the mystery of a tombstone that was found in South Shields, of all places. And this app will enable us to actually reconstruct it and see what it would have looked like when it was new. And which tells us quite a lot about Roman Britain. So let's see what I'm going to find out. This tombstone is about 1800 years old. And of course, it's very weathered, it's worn, it wouldn't have looked like this when it was new. And this app is going to enable me to find out what it would have looked like. And I'm going to be able to actually paint in different bits and find out what they would have looked like. Because it wouldn't have been plain stone, it would have been painted. So I'm going to start painting. And I was never very good at painting. So let's paint in her face and her hands. And see what we can find out. Regina came from the ancient British tribe of the Catuvalorni, who lived north of London and their capital was in what we now call St Albans, but the Romans called it Verulamium. And by tapping on anything that comes up in red, so by tapping on Verulamium, I can find out where St Albans was, which is there just near London, and a bit more about the Catavalloni territory. So let's see what she's wearing round her, round her face and neck. So, what have we got here? We've got some rather smart looking jewellery. Earrings. And earrings like this were often depicted on sculptures of Palmyrene women. Palmyra is in uh, what's now of course called Syria. A wonderful Roman site. And by tapping on Palmyrene I can get a, a map of Palmyra here. And I can even call up some of the monuments that are still surviving today. Let's go back to the map and let's go back to the tombstone and let's see what the rest of her jewellery is like. So tap on next and we see this beautiful beautiful twisted gold bracelet which um, is actually in the British Museum. These little numbers underneath the the artefacts show you the British Museum catalogue number and you can find out more about some of these items and you can actually see them in the British Museum. I think it's time to find out who she was. So I'm going to paint another bit of the tombstone. I'm going to paint the inscription at the bottom. And the inscription is in Latin. And the translation is to the spirits of the departed and to Regina, freedwoman, liberta, and wife, conjuge, of Barates. Barates Palmyrenus, Barates from Palmyra. So that's where he came from. She was of the Catavalloni tribe and aged 30, XXX 30. So she was 30 years old when she died. So she was a British woman and she was married to this man who'd come all the way from Palmyra. And presumably he's the one who gave her all that smart jewellery. Let's see what we can find out about Barates. And Barati's tombstone is broken, so we don't know whether there was a nice statue of him on it. And we have a Latin inscription there. And it starts the same way, DM, to the spirits of the departed. And it's, it reads in Latin, Barati's Palmornus. Barati's from Palmyra, Vexia, that standard bearer. Vixit, Annos, he lived the number of years. And then there's what must be LX V111, 68 years. So he lived to be 68 years. She only managed to live 30 years. Now, underneath this inscription, there's another bit which is really fascinating. So if I rub my finger, it's a bit like doing a brass rubbing this. If I rub my finger along this bit at the bottom, I find an inscription in Aramaic. And it's the type of Aramaic that uh, was used in Palmyra. So this must have been a sort of personalised bit, possibly put on by Baratis himself, because while there may have been lots of people who could carve Latin inscriptions, it may have been quite hard to find somebody who, who, who spoke Aramaic and who knew how to write it. And the Aramaic text reads, Regina, the freedwoman of Baratis, alas. So alas suggests that he at least was a bit sad when she died. 
Well, I hope I've shown you that this app is very easy to use. If I can use it, it must be. And it's fun and it's educative and it tells us quite a lot about Roman Britain. You can download it from the Apple Store and it's absolutely free. Even Lord Sugar would approve of that.